let's find the derivative of this function with respect to x. The first step is to restructure the question, which is now this. Before we continue with the solution, let's recap. Log x to base e is the same thing as the natural log of x. When you differentiate log x to base e, your answer is 1 over x. Likewise, when you differentiate the natural log of x, your answer is 1 over x. Likewise, if you differentiate log y to base e, your answer is 1 over y. Also, when you differentiate the natural log of y, your answer is 1 over y. At times, when the e is omitted, that doesn't mean that is not there. Always remember this. In the options, I can see that log x was used. And even though the exponential was omitted, know that it was omitted as long as it is derivative. To solve this problem, take the natural log of both sides. Let's recap. This is equal to this. Likewise, this is the same as this. That is, this is the same as this. Just as this is the same as this. Remember, I just let out the exponential. With this in mind, I'm going to rewrite this. Now, instead of this, I'm now going to have this. Remember, this is just step one. Next, apply implicit differentiation to both sides of the function. Next, let's differentiate the natural log of y. From the basic derivative table, when you differentiate the natural log of x, you are going to get 1 over x. However, when you differentiate the natural log of y, you are going to get 1 over y. But since it is y we differentiated, we are going to multiply it with dy dx according to the rule of implicit differentiation. The exception to this rule is whenever you differentiate x. Hence, when I differentiate log y, I'm going to have 1 over y, however, it will be multiplied with dy dx. Next, we are going to differentiate x, the natural log of x. x is multiplying the natural log of x. Hence, I will apply product rule. That is, I will keep x constant. Next, I will differentiate the natural log of x. When you differentiate the natural log of x, you get 1 over x without any restrictions. And here, it's the same thing as 1 over x when this is differentiated. Hence, when we differentiate the natural log of x, we are going to get 1 over x. According to product rule, I'm going to initiate a plus. Next, I'm going to keep the natural log of x constant. Next, differentiate x. And you're going to get 1. You can see on the right hand side, we just applied product rule to this. Next, this x, we take away this x. Now, we are left with this. Next, make the y dx the subject. We can rewrite this function 
as this, both are the same. Next, make the y the x the subject. Hence, y will move to the other side and multiply everything here. Next, we are going to replace y from the given question. But y is x to the power of x. And this becomes our dy dx. And you won't be wrong if you include the exponential base. Also, this and this are the same. And this is our result. From the options, our answer is A. This is calculus. I will see you in the next video.